Hi guys, welcome to Chakram Science Academy. Just in the next series, where every minute counts in locking the secrets to master your board examination. Today we will talk about a very very important concept, which is a major issue for most of the students, and that is nothing other than resonance. Today we will learn about resonance, how to write the resonating structures, because resonance will help us to solve a lot of questions in organic chemistry whether it is a board exam whether it is a cet exam whether it's a neat exam or a j exam or any other medical or entrance engineering entrance exam so let's talk about it okay so we before we go how do we write the resonating structure we need to know a few points about the resonance so what is the first point first point is resonance is about shifting of pi electrons or you can say the lone pair electrons second it is intramolecular intramolecular means it happens within a molecule third you need to remember when resonance will take place when there will be a conjugation now what is a conjugation conjugation is basically a pattern if you come across any of these four patterns any of these four patterns which is let's see one by one either pi sigma plus plus means when there is a loss a vacant p orbital so when there is a pi sigma plus or it is going to be pi sigma negative a negative or a lone pair or the third sequence is pi sigma pi and the last one is pi sigma and free radical so if you come across any one of these pattern then we need to understand the resonance will happen this is the pattern you have to look for before you comment and try doing a resonance so remember the first two pattern are common in all four that is pi sigma pi means a multiple bond like a double bond and sigma is the single bond and plus or negative or a pi again or a free radical so now let's take some example so first example we will take we will try doing the resonance in a nitrobenzene so first we will draw a benzene structure and we will add an NO2 group so this is a nitro benzene so let's see whether we have a pattern or not from the uh, you know one of the conjugation so we can see here we have a pattern we can see that so there is a pi there is a single bond sigma and there is a pi so yes we have found out our pattern a conjugation that is pi sigma pi remember pi sigma pi later converts into pi sigma negative okay so what is going to happen here the oxygen is being more electronegative it will take up the pi electron so first displacement of pi electron happened like i told you in resonance after that what will happen the this pi sequence pi sigma pi so this pi electron will shift here you can see that so as a result what do we get so let's draw our first resonating structure so first of all you need to copy the structure and write it where nothing has happened nothing has changed so first we will draw this structure these two bonds are as it is there nothing has changed now how do we write the structure here first of all you can see the pi has shifted to this so there will be a double bond here it is your nitrogen and after that this oxygen will have a negative charge because it has taken up the pi electron and this is a coordinate bond it will remain as it is okay so this is our first structure now what is going to happen here that when this pi electron has shifted there this carbon is in loss so we will put a positive charge because when you move the pi electron this carbon is in loss that is why we will put a positive charge and one more thing a very very important point remember that the rule is if the first resonating structure is neutral remaining all the resonating structure will also should be neutral that is the rule whatever charge is in the first resonating structure all the remaining resonating structure should carry the same charge you can see the first one is neutral that is why the second resonating structure is also neutral so now tell me do you see any other pattern either pi sigma plus pi sigma negative pi sigma pi or pi sigma radical radical is not there so that is out of the option so we can see yes there is a one more pattern we saw pi sigma positive remember positive means loss so what is going to happen we will shift the pi electron here okay so when we will shift the pi electron to the positive so what is the next resonating structure we will get 
see how I am writing. So first we will again draw the structure and write where nothing has happened. So let's copy the structure. You all can see this. And now what has happened? There, nothing has changed. So I'll just copy it as it is. Okay. Now you can see this pi has shifted here. So there will be a pi, pi bond. And because the pi electron shifted here, this carbon can be lost. So a positive charge will come. Similarly, do we see any other pattern now? Yes, we can see there is one more conjugation, pi sigma positive. So plus means loss. So in order to compensate that, pi electron will shift here. So now what is happened? We will draw the next resonating structure. And let's copy again the structure as it is where nothing has changed. So I draw the ring. After that, double bond in. And there will be a O negative and there will be a coordinate bond O. Okay. Now, here nothing has happened. Now, the pi has shifted here. So, I'll put the, you all can see the pi shifted here. So, double bond here. And because pi electron shifted here, so this carbon is in loss. Now, do we see more pattern here? Yes. We see another pattern that is pi sigma positive. It's in sequence. Remember, this conjugation needs to be in sequence, whether it's pi sigma positive, pi sigma negative, pi sigma pi, or a pi sigma free radical. So what will happen now? The pi electron will shift here. Remember, the pi will always compensate the plus. And from wherever the pi electron will be removed, their plus charge will come up. So finally, the final structure, let's copy the again. Let's write down the ring. Okay, we have written the ring. And uh, after that, what has happened here? You can see that these two bonds are as it is. Now, because pi shifted here, so I'll write a pi. After that, the night, now understand here, the nitrogen will be plus. So to compensate that, oxygen which has the extra electron will donate it. So as a result, what's going to happen? The nitrogen will have a, here the single bond. And then the double bond oxygen because the negative charge, which was the extra electron taken up by the oxygen in the first step, will now come back. Okay. And this bond, the coordinate bond, will remain as it is. So, as you can see from where we started, we came back, just took a complete clockwise rotation. And now we can see from where we started, we ended it here. That means our resonance is complete. Now we will draw the resonance hybrid. Remember, the resonating structures are all hypothetical. So, when we take a sum total of all the resonating structure, we combine all of them in one structure that is called resonance hybrid. And whenever we consider any reactions, we always see the hybrid, not the resonating structure. structure to draw the hybrid, we will use the symbol. And let's draw the hybrid. So, first of all, draw the benzene ring. And we know that double bond was present inside everywhere in each carbon. So, that is why we will put a dotted line like this. Now let's write the nitrogen atom. Then we will have the oxygen atom and one oxygen with a coordinate bond. Now we can see the positive charge was here. So we'll put it in the form of partial positive. Remember, in the resonance hybrid structure, wherever the charge was present, we will put it in the form of partial positive. And wherever the double bond was present, there we'll put the dotted line to indicate the double bond position. Because the double bond was present in everywhere in each carbon, you can see that in all the hybrid. So that is why the dotted line is everywhere. Now what you can see, the partial positive charge was here. So that is why we have given positive charge was here as well. So we'll give it this position. We saw the positive charge is here. So we'll give it a this position. Now finally coming to the main point, you can see here also the double bond was there between carbon and oxygen. So double bond will be here. In this here also, the double bond was there. You can see here the double bond was there. So that is why we we'll put the dotted line. And apart from that, you can see oxygen atom has a negative charge. So we will put a partial negative charge. So this is your final resonance hybrid. Moreover, let's see one more thing. The most important thing is you can see when the nitro group was attached to the ring. So what happened? The electron went away from the ring. So electron was drawn from the ring. That is why such effect is called minus M effect. Remember, 
when such groups are attached like nitro group and it is attached to the ring and the lone pair goes away from the ring then we call them minus m effect now see what happened due to the minus m effect what happened is if this is the side chain you can see the positive charge is at ortho position and para position you right you know that right so when side chain is attached the immediate next positions which is this and this are called ortho positions next two positions are meta positions so you can see the positive charge is at ortho position and this last position next to meta is para so you can see that the positive charge is present on ortho and para position it means positive charge present means that the electron density is very very less so do remember that when there will be a electron density is lesser less at ortho and para position so hence they are called as meta directing groups when you have such groups who are withdrawing the electron away from the ring which are showing minus m effect such groups are called meta directing groups remember because at ortho and para electron density is less so that is why electrophile will never come at these positions because electrophile is a electron lover species it has a very high affinity for electrons but ortho and para positions has very less electron in electron density is less because positive charge is there electrophile will never attack on these positions so whenever the electrophilic attack will happen it will take place at meta positions ortho and para it will not take place now let's take another example where we will see a ortho and para, para directing groups where we will see the in the resonance the electron the lone pair is coming inside the ring not away from the ring just the opposite of this case now let's take one example of uh, you know ortho and para directing group which shows plus m effect where the electron comes in the ring so we'll take one example that example is phenol one of the example so let's draw the phenol structure we all are very familiar it will be a benzene ring with a oh we can see this this is the phenol structure now like we have learned the conjugation pattern tell me do you see a pattern here yes we see a pattern here that is pi sigma lone pair you can choose any one of the lone pair there are two two lone pairs so only one pair you can choose for the resonance so here is our conjugation pi sigma lone pair so as a result what will happen the lone pair will come here down and this will push this pi electron here okay so what is the next structure we will get so this was the first resonating structure so in the second structure first we will copy the structure as it is and we will write where nothing is changed so first of all you can see these two bonds are not going to change so we have copied it now lone pair has come here so it will become a pi electron now only one lone pair is left and you can see the pi electron shifted here so a negative charge has come up extra electron means a negative charge one more thing i have told you if the first resonating structure is neutral then all the resonating structure should carry the same charge so you can see here the first one is neutral so this structure and all the other structures we will draw will also have the same charge so you can see here we will put to compensate this negative charge because the oxygen has a donated a lone pair so it means it's a loss though it has a extra uh, lone pair we don't need to put a positive but as per the rule we have to put a positive charge just to make it neutral now do we see any other pattern here do we have any other pattern here yes we can see one more pattern pi sigma negative so as a result what is the next movement next movement will be this this electron will come here the extra electron will come here and the pi electron will be close to this carbon so what will be the next structure students so in the next structure we will see first we will copy as usual where nothing is happening so oxygen with a plus charge and the lone pair okay remember plus charge was not needed here because it still has the extra electron but the rule says if the first resonating structure is neutral all should be neutral just to compensate this negative charge we put a positive charge on the oxygen because it is donating a lone pair so in this case also we will carry out the same thing and uh, we'll draw the ring first of all you can see 
there nothing is changed. So we write it as it is. Pi electron is coming here. So there will be a double bond. And extra electron come up here. So there will be a negative charge. Now tell me for the next structure, do we see a pattern here? Yes, we see a pattern that is pi sigma negative. So as a result, what will happen? The extra electron will shift here. And this electron will shift here to adjust the incoming electron. The reason is the carbon cannot have more than four electrons. After this, the carbon cannot have four bonds. Okay. So next structure, what we will see. First, let's again draw the structure where there is a no change. So we will draw the oxygen atom with a plus charge and a lone pair. After that, what we will do? This bond also is not undergoing a change. Now this pi electron will come up and the negative charge will come here. And now, do you see any more patterns? So I'll give this numbering. This was the result of section number two. This was three students. This is four. Now, what do we see finally? So finally, what will happen? This extra electron will shift here and to accommodate that, this will go back. Okay, so from where we started, we ended there out. One complete clockwise turn we took. That means the structure we are going to draw will be our last resonating structure. So the pi electron will come here. Now it will become single bond. Oxygen has taken back its lone pair from where it started. And we can say our resonance is complete. From where we started, we came back. Now you can see here, very interesting thing. Now we will try to draw the hybrid students. So let's draw the hybrid now. So in order to draw the hybrid, use this symbol. And now write all the atoms, draw the ring, write the atoms. Once they, we have written it, see the double bond was present in all the carbons inside the ring. So we will draw a dotted circle. After that, the double bond was here as well between carbon and oxygen. And more one thing, you will see the charges, the negative charge was here at ortho position and it was at para position. And what was the charge was present on the oxygen? It was partial positive. That completes our hybrid. Now you all can see here that the electron is coming in the ring. In the nitrobenzene, we saw it was going away from the ring. That why, that why it was minus m effect. Here the lone pair is coming inside the ring. That is why we call it as plus m effect. And you can see the negative charge is present on ortho and para position. It means at ortho and para position, there is an electron density is very, very high. So electrophile would love to attack on these areas. Hence, the, these groups are called ortho and para directing groups. So whenever electrophilic reaction will take place, like say example electrophilic substitution, you will see the electrophile will come and attack at ortho and para position. So they are ortho and para directing groups. Okay. Now I'll give you one task. Find out more examples of ortho and para directing groups as well as meta directing groups. And don't forget to answer in the comment box below. And also please share with your friends who may need it. Bye.